What's up everybody? Welcome to Downhill D. Miller's first episode of my journey into the career field of data science. Oh, let me tell you, this is definitely an exciting time in my life because before I get any further into this video, I would just like to start off by saying this. It has been almost one month now, maybe a little over a month, where I have not had one single fleeting thought of suicide or any suicidal thoughts or any negative thoughts about death. Yes, about one month now, which is the longest stretch I have gone now in almost 10 years where I have not had any suicidal thoughts. Yes, one month, the longest stretch I have gone in almost 10 years. And so with that being said, there are a number of reasons why I am pursuing data science. And I'm gonna be discussing these reasons in future videos along with discussing the different online platforms I'm gonna be using, discussing my progress, kind of discussing the different things that I'm learning, and it will kind of help to reinforce what I'm learning by kind of discussing it through my videos. And so I figure I'm just gonna kind of touch on the three big reasons of why I'm pursuing data science. And number one is mental stimulation. Number two, financial security. And number three, having a sense of purpose and having an overall improved sense a uh, sense of self-confidence and self-esteem. And I figure with that mental stimulation, it's been a month now since I began teaching myself Python, a little bit of R, SQL, and what that has done is that it has rekindled hope in my life. It has managed to keep my mind off the intense amounts of loneliness that I feel. It has kept my mind off of feelings of wanting to die because I am being engaged I am so focused in trying to figure out the challenges of learning how to program or learning how certain components of like utilizing statistics or probability or kind of, uh, kind of refocusing and kind of touching up on my math skills. It's definitely been some challenges, but it's also been a lot of fun because I feel like a career in data science will definitely be very fulfilling. You're doing a lot of different things. And so here it is. Over the next year and a half, 18 months, my goal is to just focus on utilizing various online platforms, and I'm gonna be making videos about my experiences using these various platforms, but yes, it's gonna to be to acquire the necessary skills, to start working on some real life projects, and to build up my portfolio so that in 18, 24 months time, I can be ready to start applying for data scientist jobs. Yep, within 18, to 24 months, it is my goal to be able to start applying for jobs. Or at the very least, I can start applying uh, for master's programs. And I'm looking at a particular master's program that is offered by the University of Washington, a master's in data science. And all that I'm really missing is I just need to take uh, a three series calculus, uh, so three calculus courses. Uh, one course in linear algebra, and two courses in programming, or demonstrate that I have at least a year's experience in programming. So in essence, I am only four courses short of fulfilling the requirements to be able to enter into this graduate program in data science. But regardless, my goals over the next year and a half to two years is to develop my skills, start working on some projects, and potentially start applying for jobs as a data scientist, and then later on down the line, tie it into exercise science. And with my therapy, I'm gonna be focusing on improving my social skills to make me more successful as an employee, to work on the social skills necessary to be successful in this career field, especially working on being able to story tell, because that's a big thing with being a data scientist. You've gotta be able to story tell, and present things to an audience who may not be as technically savvy as a data scientist is. It's definitely some exciting times. I'm definitely hopeful because after doing my research, it definitely sounds like a fulfilling career, a lot of perks with it, financial security, oh, the list goes on and on. But just kind of wanted to give you guys a little update and some of the things involved with data science, oh, it's just unbelievable. But here's just kind of a short list, machine learning, deep learning, big data. I mean, you've got analytics, predictive analytics. Oh, it's just, it's pretty cool. And this is applic applicable to many facets in life. I can see it being used to come up with enhanced training programs for a variety of sports, enhanced physical 
therapy programs to make people, to help uh, patients recover faster from their injuries, or delivery companies using it to determine what routes, what times of days are going to enable faster deliveries. Oh, it's just unbelievable what data science is doing for the world at large. So that's just kind of what's going on right now. But like I said, this is what's just kind of an introductory video into my journey, into the career field of data science. There's going to be a lot more to come. I'm going to be kind of doing some screenshots, screenshots of me working on Python, R, some of these other languages I'm having to become familiar with. And of course, I'm going to continue making my exercise videos, my ski videos, and other blogs. But I figure a lot of my blogging is going to be just on my progress from going to where I'm kind of at right now, being this person that's kind of a loner, not doing so well in other aspects of life. But like I said, my goal in the next 18 to 24 months, start applying for jobs as a data scientist or enroll in a master's program and enhance on working on my social skills for the workplace, being that likable employee, being someone who's enjoyable to be around. And once I find myself in a more secure place in life, then I can start working on other aspects of life, like developing uh, and uh, maintaining relationships, uh, dating. But right now, I've got to keep my priority on honing in on my data science skills, building my portfolio, and working on the necessary skills to be successful in the workplace during my time at therapy. So. Thank you all for watching. I'm definitely going to be back more with a lot more updates, a lot more action. Peace out.